Hey everybody, I'm Psychroplasm, and this is Mesmerized, which is supposed to be Captain Toad meets Psychonauts. And the Psychonauts part is that you go into patients' minds and fix them, which was my favorite part of Psychonauts. I haven't played Captain Toad, so I don't know what the Captain Toad part is. I really should. I hear so much about it. Oh. Uh-huh. Click to use that, or click to use this handle. Oh, okay. I feel like you should have told me to click to move first, but that's fine. This is interesting. I've never played anything like this. Is this is this the Captain Toad part? So is that a key card, maybe? I have no idea what these things are. Oh, it's a brain helmet. Yes? Tell me more about things. Wait, was that the tutorial? Okay, no, then let's not play the tutorial. Harold Beckett thinks all dogs are aggressive. He needs to know somehow that every dog has its day. I'm a cat person. I don't deserve this. But yeah, like the brain levels in Psychonauts were my favorite things. As if that wasn't like the thing that makes Psychonauts Psychonauts. Okay, so he's running away from a dog. There's a bone here. The blue switch should open up the blue door, yes? There's a purple switch over there, okay. I don't know if the dog can get me, but it doesn't have a head. Is that a bubble wand? I don't know what that is. But I don't know if this flaming headless dog can get me. So we got a pillow. And now we need to go through here. Actually, just in case it can get me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess it can't. Okay. okay we got the bone. But we need three parts. Is there anything we can get over here? Oh, it's a dog bowl tree. That's weird. But cool. But part of what I liked about the brain levels in uh, Psychonauts was the surrealism. Okay, so that's open permanently now. And so we'll need to hit the purple switch again. Yes? Yes. Can we go this way? Hmm. Ah, okay, I see. The blue one again. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, I can just click where I need to go and it'll take me there. Why didn't I notice that before? That's fine. Oop. Clicked out of the window. <laughs> Everything's fine. Ooh, got more stuff. I got a watering can. And whatever the hell. Oh, is it a leash? Okay, so I'm assuming I need that to put the dog's fiery head out.
Okay, so... Maybe I need the pillow first. Okay, pillow first then. Oh, it's not a pillow, it's dog food. So if it's dog food, do I need a bowl? Watering can on the dog food bowl tree. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And then he comes over here. Got it. Oh. Oh, it's a pretty pet puppy. Oh, that makes so much sense. Okay. Yay. Walter Cooper. He can't see the bright side of anything. He's extremely afraid of the dark. Needs to lighten up his mood. Better safe than sorry. See, the last guy's quote was just like, I don't think I'm... I don't think I need help. <laughs> I guess better safe than sorry also implies that he doesn't need help. Oh. How the hell? Oh, I see. Teleporters. Okay, so maybe I need to activate those four dots. Let's see what each of these does. Okay, so maybe it's a sequence. Come on, I had like a 50% chance of getting it right. Wait, that was the wrong one, wasn't it? Oh, nope. This one. And then this one. Yes? Okay, so that gets me... A futuristic version of Simon, maybe? going to be one of those weird floating globes? Or may no, maybe a moon? Alright, so I got buttons. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. There we go. I have no idea what I'm doing. I trust you. Oh! Got it, and now it's all uh, like a floaty globy thing. Wait, how is that going to help him get over his fear of the dark? Oh, he doesn't have a fear of the dark. He's just, he's just really negative. I forgot about that. The message may have gotten lost on that one. Willa Turner. She's losing control. Fears being replaced by machines. Needs something to handle them better. So we're giving her a power glove? Oh, this is 
significantly bigger than the others. Alright, so that obviously goes there. Ain't no about it. Ain't no about it, doubt it. Oh, it opened the spikes, not the door. Okay. Is that a thing I need to collect, or is it a thing that will murder me? Hmm. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I did this time. Hmm. So I can't touch these little colored panels down here. Can I touch this? Are these also buttons? Oh, there it is, the blue thing. That's only our first piece of the thing. So there's... Oh! There's a new thing over here now. So I saw that there's another side to this over here. Whoa. Okay, I guess I gotta go around this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, the sensitivity on the pan is very low. And while we're walking up there, we'll do this. Grab that. I said grab that. Power glove! Alright! I've solved all the mind puzzles. Soon new patients will come looking for your help. I like it. It's a lot simpler than I expected, both in terms of art style and gameplay, but I do like the concept behind it, and more Psychonauts related stuff can't be bad, right? Right? But despite that, I think, I think my problems with it are more with the mindset I came into it with and not the actual game itself, because the game itself is fairly solid. The only problem I have is the, uh, it's not panning, the camera rotation. Like, it, uh, it's a lot looser than it needs to be, but other than that, I think it's pretty solid. Either way, until the next video, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you around. Bye.